How you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know y'all looking at me like, what this girl got going on? But let's get into this video. So um, today, y'all will be seeing me do a hair install, which is probably the first time ever. But yeah, um, as you can see, I already have my wig cap installed and everything. I did that beforehand. And I was just like, well, you know what? Since I've done my makeup today, I'm gonna do a wig tutorial today. And the wig I'm going to be installing is this wig right here. I got it from Loving Hair Company. I'm from AliExpress. Not going to lie. I was a tad bit nervous ordering from them. Um, because one was kind of close to my birthday. And then, you know, this is my first time ordering from this company. But moving on, um, I ordered from them maybe on the 10th of October. And I received the wig on like the 15th. So they gave me plenty of time to sit there and dye and stuff like that. I did use the watercolor method on this hair. And as you can see, it really, really took very good. The lace didn't get bleached, but that come from, um, not bleached, but color. But that come from me watching some very, very good ladies here on YouTube showing me what to do to keep from getting colored. But um, yeah, when I first got this wig, it arrived um, in a plastic bag, nothing special or anything like that. Only issue I can say that I had this week on first arrival was the fact that it had like pieces of hair coming through the um, lace in the front part, like where the frontal would be at. Other than that, everything was fine. I didn't have any fallouts or nothing like that when I ran my hands through it. Um, everything was really, really good actually. Like it was a very, very nice week once I got it. Um, so that was it wasn't an issue with upon receiving it. As you can see right now, I'm about to. You uh, use the got to be glue free spray to put this on. I'm not like everybody else that uses the glue and go through all that land to two things of glue down this and third. Yeah, I'm not that skilled yet, so I'm gonna show you how to do this the easy way, and then maybe once I get that skill, I'll show you how to do it the hard way. <laughs> but, um, yeah, as y'all can see, I'm just going around my edges and I'm spraying this free spray around my hair and you know, just to make sure that the wig is going to be secured. And it's going to stay on my head for a couple of days. And I'm just going to go around and spray it around my edges. But as I'm doing that, or finishing it up, um, I guess I'll continue to tell you how I went through dyeing the wig. Like I told you earlier, I watercolored this wig. Um, I use colors from Adore and Kiss. Can't remember them off the top of my head, but I will leave that down in the description bar as well as, um, hey, <laughs> as well as, um, the company I got this from, the inches I have, and you know, all the other stuff that I use on this product, on this wig. But yeah, I watercolored this hair, it didn't take no time. Watercoloring is actually super, super easy and beginner friendly. So, if anybody's looking to try and dye hair, watercolor is the method to go. But, um, yeah, um, I really can't say really much more about this hair. Um, it's actually really, really good. It holds a curl. I did curl this hair, but I didn't like it with the curl, so I decided to keep it um, straight. Um, it takes heat pretty good. I do use a heat protectant on the hair, so I don't have to worry about you know anything does anything happening to it. But this hair does take heat very, very well. It curls good. It look at that. Like, doesn't she look good? <laughs> I did so good for my first time. But um, yeah, she takes heat very, very well. So that's something I loved about this wig. Um, that, you know, I didn't have to worry about it being cheap or anything like that. You know, I pay like a pretty, pretty good price. I didn't have to worry about having a bad quality wig. Um, I can say like, if you don't like, you know, brushing in the morning time or something like that, or brushing when you get up in the morning time, like you would do your regular hair, it will get taken up. I feel like that's something you should just know from dealing with bundles or anything like that. But yeah. Anyways, you see me now, I'm tying this scarf around it just to kind of, you know, press it down. And as you can see, I'm taking the scarf off and everything is secure, laid down to my forehead and some more. And now you're about to see me really, really struggle to cut this extra lace shit off my forehead. And I had to ask for assistance. <laughs> Luckily, he loves me enough to help me out, as you can see. But, um... He's pretty good, isn't he? Ain't he? Like, look at that. He's so steady hand and skilled at what he's doing. But no, he doesn't do hair. I do his hair. Anyways, um, my boyfriend is the MVP. Now I'm going through with a piece of tissue and I'm just wiping off um, any extra residue that might be on my forehead. This piece of tissue does have alcohol on it. 
Um, even though that's really drying for your skin, it's about the best thing to do to remove the glue spray. So um, now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go through with my foundation brush and just blend it out to make sure that it's, you know, looking like it's melted into my skin and look like it's laid down really, really good. It actually looks really good from just looking at this video. Um, now I'm gonna go through with uh, this Edge Dip by Edge Booster. Um, I've never heard of this company before, but when I was on my hunt trying to find an affordable edge stick, this is the one I found. And it is actually really, really good and it smells good. I've used it um, quite a few times now. And even when off my first use, like I said, they had those like small little flyaways. This one, that's another thing about this wig. It didn't have flyaways like that. It had like maybe a couple after me combing through it, but it didn't have any flyaways. Anyways, um, yeah, it laid those flyaways down for like two days without me having to go back and reapply. So I felt like that's really, really good. But um, overall, this is a really, really great wig. I enjoy it. I, I'm still enjoying it. Um, it's a really, really great wig. It's soft. It didn't come with a smell. It's like really, really bouncy and some more. Like I really, really love this hair. But thank you guys for tuning in. This is my first hair tutorial. Maybe I have some more coming, but we will stay tuned to see. See you guys later. Bye.